here's Professor Heinz Wolf. He'll be popping up at the end of the show to look at crazy inventions on the net. But first, we want you to look at this page. It scared us witless. Bang and Splat, a supercomputer anticipates the catastrophic effects of a giant comet hitting the Earth. How, how big would such a meteorite have to be to, to have a significant, oh, I was going to say impact? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but... to, 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 to <laughs> a phrase, um, oh, several kilometres would, would already be quite, quite serious. And I mean, travelling at what, what kind of speed? Well, it would be, be travelling at speed would be many times the speed of sound. Um, and being so large, it wouldn't have been slowed down all the much parts of the atmosphere, which would get quite hot. In fact, the larger the, the meteorite is, the less the effect of the atmosphere would be. So the impact would be, would be considerable, the amount of energy reduced would be many, many hundreds of thousands of, of nuclear bombs were. What if, it, what if it just hit the sea? If you had a medium-sized comet hit the sea, wouldn't that just absorb it and we'd be all right? Yeah, it wouldn't be quite so bad to see, but there would be a tidal wave and, and all sorts of countries which were relatively low-lying would be inundated uh, by these waves. So Holland would be a time. bad place to stay? Um, yes, but look, many of the islands would be a bad place. I think the sort of waves one would get would be tens or hundreds of feet high, travelling at very high speeds, and not just sort of wavelets this sort of high. But if you had a surfboard, you'd be OK? Um, yes, <laughs> you'd be jolly, jolly, jolly skillful surfboard. And, 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 and to wait for the opportunity oh, no. would be a really So in a worst-case scenario... The Australians would be the super race of the future. In a worst-case scenario, the all of Australian surfers would live.